Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to find tax tip and discount of a price. And we're going to do this with the proportion box that we've been um, working with so far. First, let's look at what tip is. A tip is the amount of money given to someone who provides a service, like a waiter. Okay, and tip usually is a percent of the price. Okay, so it's going to be the part, a part, a little part of the price. So whenever we're looking for the tip, here's the proportion box we're going to use. The percent is always going to be here in the top of the 100. The total price is going to be on the bottom, and the part of the price, the tip, is going to be on the top. So let's go ahead and fill this out as tip, because this is going to be the part of the money, and this is going to be the total money of the of the price of the meal or whatever it is that you're that you're. Um, trying to find. Also for tax is going to be the same thing. Instead of tip though is going to be T for tax. But we're still going to use a T. What, uh, the T for that letter that stands for tip or tax. And it's still going to be the amount of money that you're going to pay for tax. It's still going to be the total money for whatever it is that you're buying. So we're going to talk about what that, all that means in just a few minutes. Um, that's what tip is. And I think I skipped over sales tax. Here's the sales tax. is uh, percent of the purchase price is what it comes down to be and this percent of the of the purchase price goes to the government um, and it supports groups and different persons with the, with the government so that's why we pay taxes when you go to Walmart and you buy anything you pay taxes on it that amount, that amount of money goes to the government um, here's the steps that we're going to use to solve for this tax tip we're going to set up the proportion using the formula above this um, proportion box we're going to cross multiply we're going to solve by division and because we're talking about price we're talking about money we're going to round to the nearest cent that's to the nearest hundredth okay so remember that whenever we're working on these problems let's look at the first example Jessica is purchasing a $25 shirt if the sales tax is 77 percent of the price what is the amount of the tax so we're going to use that proportion box that we've been working with and remember that 7%, that's the, the one with the percent symbol, that's the part of the percent. So my 7 goes here. The total percent, you already know what goes here, is always going to be 100. The part of the money is what we're looking for, and then the total amount of the money, in other words, the price of that shirt is $25. So 25 goes right here, and we're looking for the amount of tax. So that's going to be the T for tax. There's a proportion box. So now what we're going to do is cross multiply and divide. So we're going to multiply 7 times 25. Okay, so here we go. 25 times 7. 7 times 5 is 35. Carry the 3. 7 times 2 is 14 plus the 3. That's going to give me uh, 17. So now we have 175. And then when you cross multiply the other numbers, 100 times t, you get 100t. So I'm going to have my 175, and I have my 100t. And I'm going to put an equal sign between them, because I've set both of the uh, cross products equal to each other. So when you, when you multiply 7 times 25, you get 175. And when you multiply 100 times t, you get 100t. So you have to set them equal to each other. Now you identify your coefficient. And remember that the coefficient is the number that's sitting in front of your letter. In this case, the coefficient is 100. So now that we know the coefficient is 100, we divide both sides by 100, by that coefficient. And when you do that, 100 divided by 100, it's 1. So you, that cr cancels out. And all that it leaves us is that T. And make sure you bring down your equal sign. Over here is 175 divided by 100. I'm going to write it like this. Because we've been working with the 7th grade builder 1, 2, 3 so far in class. And every time that we divide by a power of 10, you remember the shortcut that we move the decimal over twice to the left to make the uh, number a little bit smaller. So that's what that's the shortcut that I'm going to use here. 175 is a whole number, so my decimal is sitting behind the 5. Because I have two zeros in the 100, I can just move it over twice to the left, one for each zero, and I end up with my answer. T is 1.75.
and that's the amount of money that I'm going to pay for the taxes. Okay, so that's my tax. Tax is $1.75. Now, the next question says, Jody and Laura went out to dinner at their favorite sandwich shop. If their bill was $21.95 and they wanted to leave a 15% tip, what is the amount of the tip? So now we're talking about tip. But we're going to have the same proportion box. We're, all, we're always going to have my percent be the total percent. It's always going to be 100. And the part of the percent, they give that to us right there in the problem. The part of the percent is 15% tip. So my 15 goes here. Now the total amount, do we know the total amount? Their bill was $21.95. So that's going to be the total amount. $21.95. And the part of the, of the amount that we're looking for is the amount of the tip. So that's what we're looking for, the tip. That's the part of the money. And we already knew the total money down here. So there's my proportion box. Now all i got to do is cross multiply and divide. So yes, I do have to multiply by that number, 21.95, right? So I do have to know how to multiply by a decimal. So 21.95 times 15. Let's see if we can work that out right quick. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 2 is 47, carry the 4. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9. And 5 times 2 is 10. Now the 1, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2. When I add them together, I get 5. 12, carry the 1. 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19, carry the 1. 1 plus nothing is 1, plus 1 is 2, and 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, here's the tricky part when you work with decimals. Remember, you got to count how many decimal places are behind the decimal. You have two decimal places right here. You have zero decimal places right here. So when you add those two numbers inside those bubbles, you get two. So you need to have two numbers behind the decimal. So my decimal is going to be right there. So when I multiply 15 times 21.25, I get that number right there, $325, $329.25. And now when I cross multiply 100 times T, oh, that's the easy one, 100T. So I'm going to set up 100T equals to the other number, 329 with 25 cents. And now I'm going to divide by the coefficient. The coefficient again is 100. That's the number sitting in front of the, of the letter. So I'm going to divide by 100. And again, if you have divided by 100, just like we did right here, you don't have to rewrite it like this. You can just say, this is division. This line right here means division. So I'm going to divide. I'm going to move the decimal over twice to the left to divide by 100. So my T is equal to 3.2925. But remember, T stands for tip in this problem. We're talking about money. So we don't need to have four decimal places in our answer. We only need two. So this nine is the last one we need. So this two is going to tell us what's going to happen with that nine. And because that two is lower than a five, that nine is going to stay the same. So the tip where we're going to leave is $3.29. That's the amount of tip we're going to leave. And that's my answer. If you look at the next problem, the next session, you have the total price and the total bill. To calculate these two things, you have to be able to find the, the tax or the tip, find the tax or the tip to the nearest cent, just like we did in the first in the last two problems that I just worked out with you. And then we're going to have to add it. We're going to have to add the tax or tip to the purchase price. That's how we find the total price or the total bill. Okay, so in this problem right here, we have a, an iPad, iPod being bought. And this iPod cost $200. That's the total price of the iPod. We have to find the amount of tax. We know 8% is the tax on percentage, but we don't know how much tax money that's how much is going to be. So we have to fill in our proportion box. I'm going to help you set it up, and then I'm going to ask you to fill, finish it by yourself. So here we're going to put again the part of the percent. This is the total percent. This is the part of the money, and this is the total money that we're talking about now. So we know $200 is the total money. We know that 8%, that's my percent, and we know the total percent is always going to be 100. So we're looking for the amount of tax. 
So that's the T. But in this case, is what will Gary pay for his iPod? So after we find the amount of tax, we're going to have to find the uh, we're going to have to add it to the two hundred dollars to find the total price that he's going to pay, including the tax, adding the tax into it. Okay. So when you cross multiply and divide, you find the amount of tax. Whatever amount that is, whatever you come up with, you're going to have to add it to two hundred dollars. That's the price. And then whatever you end up with, this will be your final answer. Okay, make sure that you understand that this is going to be your final, final answer. This is not your final answer. The amount of tax, in this case, you're going to need it to find your final answer. The amount of tax is not the final, final answer. So make sure you understand that. This is going to be the amount of tax. Whatever that is, you're going to add it to 200 and you get your uh, total price. Okay, on the next problem is exactly the same thing, but now we're talking about a restaurant uh, where, where they're going to eat and um, you have the amount of their bill and you know you want to leave a 20% tip for that waitress or the waiter and you want to know the total amount of the tip I mean of the bill so you're gonna to have to find the amount of the tip and then add it to 5225 the actual amount they spent on food and then you end up with the total amount of the bill including the tip so I'm gonna just quickly set it up for you because we still have to talk about discount and I don't want to make this video too long so this is going to be the part of the percent this is going to be the total percent and this is the part of the money and this is the total amount of the money okay so we know that 5226 is the total amount of the bill that's how much they spend on their food 20% that's the part of the percent and 100% is always the total of the percent so now we're looking for T in this case is the tip so we're gonna cross multiply and divide so we're gonna multiply 20 times that and let's see I'm gonna cheat just so I can help you out with this problem here's my calculator so I'm gonna multiply 52.26 and I'm gonna multiply that times 20 I'm gonna cross multiply right so when I cross multiply, I get 1,045.2. So 1,045.2 is what I get on one side when I cross multiply these two right here. And when I cross multiply the other two, T times 100 is just 100 T. And when I divide by 100, because that's my coefficient, these hundreds cancel out. And this zero and this zero, we're going to have to move it over to the left twice because we're dividing. So we end up with 10.452. That's the amount of T. That's the amount of the tip. But because we're talking about tip, we're talking about money, we need to round. And this is the last number we need. This two right here, we're going to have to cancel it out. So the amount of tip is going to be $10.45. Now we need to add that to the amount of the... Uh, the amount of the bill so the amount of the bill oh, let me raise that right quick the amount of the bill is going to be fifty two dollars and twenty six cents so when you add those two amounts the tip which is right here plus the fifty two twenty six you end up with the total amount of the bill it's going to be that easy for the discount it's the same proportion box if you look at the next page on your notes you except for the T for the tax or tip now you're looking for the D for the amount of the discount so it's the same process we're still going to do the proportion we're still going to cross multiply we're still going to solve for the division and then we're going to round to the nearest cent so i'm not going to go through this process because i think you know how to set it up now um, i do want to mention one thing though when you're talking about sell price on the, on the back page of your notes sell price in this case you're not going to be adding the amount of the discount because discount means you take money away so we're going to be subtracting the amount of the discount to find the sell price from the regular price. So an example is this one right here where you have $135 a pair of skates and 25% off is your discount. Once you find the amount of discount, you got to take it away from $135 and you end up with the sale price. So I'm going to leave it like I'm going to leave it alone right now. I'm going to see if you understand it once you get to class. I want you to finish these problems um, before you get to class. I want you to ask me questions about these problems if you don't understand them. Okay, so when you're sitting in a group, I want you to take your notes out and I want to see them all complete. And if you have finished all your notes and you have any questions, you can ask me. If you don't have any questions, then you can get started on your homework when you walk into class.
Okay, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.